Hello and welcome back. All right. So in this video, we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to kind of play a game of alternate timelines. And the reason I say that is because one, I need to show you the northern Lost River entrance up by the bulb zone. And the best use of that entrance is if you're trying to basically speed run the last part of the game. Um, you can theoretically finish the game from this point in about 20-30 minutes. And I'm going to show you at least the way to get down to the important parts. That's us they're talking about. Alright. So... You need to have a bulb bush, an eye stock, um, a mushroom sample, and a ghost weed. Uh, the ghost weed we will get on the way. Um, and the mushroom we will also get on the way. There's one more piece you need that's down in the final area. Um, I'll just pick that up in there. Um, but I don't think we're going to go quite all that way. Now, the other thing you absolutely have to do, if you make a spare air tank, it starts empty. You have to swap it out to get it to fill up. Because otherwise, when you're down deep and you need to swap out for that extra bit of air, you're going to swap to an empty tank and you'll be out of luck. Um, that's, that's a bad way to die. It's really frustrating. So... Systems online. So the first thing you're going to do is basically head to the mountain. It's kind of your starting point. That only takes a second. You remember a few episodes ago we built that little base tube out there. You're going to see in a minute what it's handy for. There she is. cannot take the sea, mar sea moth for this part. Once we reach the mountain island base, I'm actually going to leave it there. And you will see why. Well, the main reason is that it can't go as deep as you need it to go, so you're going to have to swim. Pretty sure with a standard tank and the ultra high capacity tank, we'll have enough. Um, if I'm wrong, we're going to find out. <laughs> and fair warning, there's at least one place, well, there's one place along this route where we're actually going to die on purpose. Because um, you can take extra, extra tank, or you can just Welcome build a base, captain. save your inventory, and die. We're going to leave that here for now. Pretty sure I have everything else we need. Okay, off we go. And down there is where we would go if we're headed for the mountain wreck. We're, whoop, what did I do that for? We're going to skip that part, though. There is the Reaper. Lights off. Stay close to the mountain. Hopefully he won't notice us. Oh, he noticed us. 
Oh, hey, another bridge fragment. Oh, that's too close. That's too close. <sighs> so you get in amongst the mushrooms and he can't maneuver. He sounds angry, though. <sighs> oh, that was fun. Okay, we need one of those. We already have our bulb sample. Technically could have grabbed that here. This is where I would grab it if I was out speed running. So what we're going to do is we're going to follow this ridge. Down there is the mountains. Follow this ridge until it turns a little bit here. Pop up to the surface. Kind of angle upward. Make sure our tank is completely topped up before we start this part of the run. Now, if you are going to do this, uh, you really have to route efficiently. Because if you take a bunch of detours and fiddle around, you're going to run out of air too soon. Let's see. Is this... Not quite yet. There, that's where we're going to be. And I'm actually going to start... Now, you notice here, if you swim super close to the surface your sea glide still works but you can top up your air tank if you get above the surface your sea glide doesn't work so you don't benefit from the speed there i'm actually going to switch to this tank and down we go <sighs> to find the lost river entrance up here you're looking for these two points of rock that stick out of the bulb zone from the ridge we just followed. I'm going to follow it down. The entrance is at about 350 meters. Hmm. I might have underestimated. I forgot that the uh, reinforced dive suit also increases drag a little bit. Lots of bone sharks down here, but you can mostly just dodge around them. Or just keep moving and they'll ignore you. Wait to the last possible second to swap out tanks, but you still have to be able to see to do it, so don't wait too long. Some people will drop that extra tank at that point. Yeah, actually I'm not going to have any further use for it. Um, and it, even in your inventory it does actually create a little bit of drag. cost three titanium to make one of those, so I'm not really sad about dropping it. It's the ghost weed we're gonna need. Continue straight on down. This entrance is relatively safe until we get here. It's a juvenile ghost leviathan hanging out. So we're going to dive for this trench. Oh yeah. Now, if you are rushing, this is the stretch of the inactive lava zone where you need to find nickel ore. A minimum of three nickel ore. You need them for the rocket and this is the only place you're going to come that might have it. Shale. There's a large kyanite deposit that you would have to have. There's nickel. One. Oh, 
there's another one. That's good. There's a warmer hot on my tail. You would need the prawn with the drill arm to get those large deposits. No, that's shale. Looks like we're doing just fine on oxygen. I'm not even sure. Oh, wait, there's the third nickel we need. 30 seconds. Not quite enough to get all the way there without dying. So, what we're gonna do now is. Whoa, hi! Build one of those. And, and one of those. Go in here, save our inventory, and we're gonna die. And when we respawn, we'll have a full air tank. So, I do have all three of the nickel ore I need. Don't need any more in this area. So we are going to continue on. That, ladies and gentlemen, is your first sea dragon. Oh my goodness. More preserve. Just on one today. And there's the way down to the lava lakes. Looks like a couple of sulfur sitting right there. Just beyond this spire. We're headed up to the lava castle. This is our main objective in the inactive lava zone. Ouch. That was too close for comfort. Materials and a massive energy signature. Reading originates within the natural structure at the center of this chamber. The volcanic rock which has formed in this area can be carbon dated to between 800 and 3000 Earth years ago. Now along this stretch, we also need... six kyanite and four crystalline sulfur. Crystalline sulfur is different from the cave sulfur you can get from crash fish on the surface. Um, and you do have to have it for some of the more advanced components. If we were going to rush this, we wouldn't basically ever even get on board the cyclops except to make the shield generator, which you also need to build the spaceship. Let's see what we got here. Four and one. <sighs> Inside the lava castle here is about the only place you can reliably pick up single kyanite deposits. Pretty much all the ones out in the main area of the inactive lava zone require the prawn with the drill. Yeah. And we can get sulfur in the Oh, see, normally I would bring a purple tablet. I forgot to bring one. There's a blue tablet you have to get to get into the primary containment facility. And then down here is where we get the ion cube plans. Which you also need a purple tablet for that I forgot to bring. So. We'll call that good for this demo of how to get down through the inactive lava zone the fast way. Um, we'll come back next time. And I'll show you the... Oh, yeah, here's one other thing that's important to know about this alien thermal plant. Uh, but we'll come back next time and I'll show you the sort of the safe way. This is the light way. <laughs> the real downside of this method is it's not real hard to get killed. And if you get killed, it kind of blows up your whole run. Um, if you can at least get here, this portal, 
takes you back to the inside of the quarantine enforcement platform, the big gun on the mountain island there, which is why we left the Seamoth behind there. I'll just show you that real quick, and then we'll call it good for this one. ion cube in here you would need that later it's another portal you have to activate It's kind of the fast way down into the inactive lava zone and the alien thermal plant. Now, next time we're going to kind of go back to our regular pacing and just kind of show you um, a much more comfortable way to do it, for especially for a newer player. Um, so thank you for joining me. Um, different timeline next time.